Hello guys, happy weekend. Happy weekend to you all. Today is Saturday, 3rd of December 2022. And today's topic is pray always in the spirit. Pray always in the spirit. So before we start this morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We honor you. We give you all the praise. Thank you for making this week a successful week for us. It has been great, Allah. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for your help in our lives, Allah. We are gathered this morning to study your word because your word is all we need for a perfect day. As we meditate on your word, we thank you for understanding of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome once more to Rhapsody of Reality. And today's topic is Pray Always in the Spirit. Ephesians 6 18. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching day unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Praise the Lord. That's Ephesians 6 18. To pray always means to be in constant communication. And fellowship with the Lord is always ongoing. That is what the Lord instructs us today. He wants us in fellowship with Him all the time. It is a continual communication of spiritual intelligence where information is constantly being given to us to put us at an advantage. The Amplifier classic version of our opening verse reads, Pray at all times, on every occasion, in every season, in the spirit with all manner of prayer and entreaty. Pray in the spirit, therefore, becomes the accompaniment for all other kinds of prayer. Whether it is the prayer of faith, the prayer of intercession, whatever kind of prayer it is, pray in the spirit should be part of it. In 1 Corinthians 14, verse 14 to 15, Paul said, For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the Spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will sing with the understanding also. Glory to God. This shows that praying in the Spirit is a priority. From the Spirit you will know what words to use. Your tongue will be arranged and inspired to say the right things. As you go out to win souls, you may not know what you are going to say right away, but pray in the Spirit first, and He will give you the right words. You will say things that are persistent with His divine purpose, because you are in timely fellowship with Him through the Spirit. It reminds me of what Jesus said in Matthew 10, verse 19 to 20. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Hallelujah. Therefore, make it a habit. Always pray in the Spirit and with the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor is all reminding us the importance of prayer. Remember the topic yesterday and today is, is, is a reminder that prayer is necessary and it's very, very vital that you speak it, you pray in the spirit and also you pray with your understanding. Yes. Yes, I, I notice it. If I'm singing a song, I can't finish it. I must sing it with the Spirit as well. That is it. Yes, because when you're praying with the Spirit, what I notice often time is that you get ways. Yes, you get bold. You begin to take charge. I'm telling you, and you begin to wonder where is this? You know, it, it reminds you of the, on the like when you're praying. Sometimes you don't really know. The angle, yes, because you cannot say what is going on in your life except God. But that is why prayer, prayer is very necessary. When you're praying with the Spirit, it directs you to what is necessary. Yes, 
and you discover that what was in your mind is not how you are praying because God gives you another utterance. He knows what you need. That is what praying in the Spirit does for you. It gives you boldness. It gives you the right to take what belongs to you. Yes, you begin to take charge. You begin to collect all the things that belongs to you. And that is why praying in the Spirit and praying with understanding is very important. Yes, like for me, if I want to ask something from God, I pray in the Spirit. <laughs> I don't just know why. I pray in the Spirit because I feel like I don't want Satan to hear it. Yeah. Because what Satan does all the time, the things you need, that is what it goes after. So that's what I do. I pray in the Spirit to ask things. Yes, I pray with understanding for thanking God. Yes. So guys, it is important that you pray in the spirit it's, it's it do you a lot of good i'm telling you from an experience it does a lot of god and it gives you that boldness that you need yes so with that we say let's take prayer and confessions together dear father i thank you for enlightening me to pray effectively in the spirit as i speak in tongues even now my spirit is lifted to fortune from a vantage position of boldness accuracy and victory resulting in a life of dominion in christ i don't struggle but enjoy unstoppable growth and progress as i receive guidance from you in jesus name amen for that study you can look at luke 8 verse 1 jude 1 verse 20 and Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7. When your Bible read the plan, 1 John 4 and Daniel 1 to 2. To your Bible read the plan, Revelation 6, verse 11 to 17, and Joy 3. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you've been indeed blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. I trust that you have been blessed by today's de devotional. And I want to use this opportunity to invite you to a place called Christ. If you've not given your life to Christ, there's an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have everlasting life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. If you pray this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible. Yes, educate yourself for the word of God. Get to know God is who Jesus is and what we are talking about, who the Holy Spirit is to you. And bombard yourself with faith filled messages such like this. And look for a believing church and worship there. What a great time we had this morning. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please do so. So every time I upload a new video, you will first to notify it. Yes. And leave a comment for me. So I can make a shout out to you. And on Facebook, follow me at Flora Cookie Channel. And if you come across this video, please do share. God bless you. That is the purpose of this message. God bless you. So let's pray for God. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We give you all the praise. Thank you for teaching us. Thank you, Father, for understanding of your word. Thank you for gain wisdom from your word. Thank you, Father, we gain insight to your word, O oh, oh Lord. Thank you for this weekend. Yes. Yes. Thank you for great things that are happening in our life and great things that are happening through us. It is well with us. It is well with all that concerns us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you all. You have a fabulous weekend. I will see you on Monday by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.